welcome to the channel and uh, yes you're looking at some tubes on my desk so what I thought I'd do in this video um, while I'm waiting to purchase a new camera I'm actually filming this on my uh, Samsung Galaxy tablet S7 I thought I'd just show you some of the valves um, tubes valves that I've purchased over the last couple of years and especially now with valves getting more expensive, EL84s, EL34s, 6V6s, 6L6s, um, they are getting quite expensive now. So over the last couple of three years, I've kind of been researching into finding other tubes that might be good for building guitar amps. So I'm just going to go through one or two bits and bobs that I've found and hopefully it may be useful to some of you out there, some of the subscribers, which I must appreciate, it's going up really quickly. So for all those that subscribed so far, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Right, I've stuck some paper down on there, so we can hopefully see these tubes better. So this first tube, and I've bought quite a few of these. I'm trying to think if I bought a dozen. I can't remember. So this, and the thing is now, we're going to look at some of these Russian codes. They're the Russian alphabet um, is slightly strangely different to ours. So if we if we look at this tube and if I move the camera away and get the angle right, if we just look, you can see that is six H nine C. But transferred or translated would probably be a better word into our language. That is actually six N nine S. So an H is an N in the English alphabet, and the C is an S. Um, that tends to be how it's translated, and that is a 6SL7 equivalent, which is an octal preamp tube. I think I paid about £5 a piece for these when I bought them. They're probably a bit more money than that. It actually wouldn't surprise me if some of the 6L7s that you can buy, uh, probably these tubes but rebadged yeah, I do like octal preamp tubes um, don't uh, don't use those enough but I have put those in one or two amplifiers and they work really well one I did a Fender Champ a 5F1 but used one of those instead of an ECC83 and it worked just fine of course the the gain on them is slightly lower I think it's about 70 ish on 6SL7 where on a 12X7 you've got a hundred so that's the first one that's a 6H9C which translates to 6N9S so here's another preamp tube and uh, this one so if we can zoom in a little more on the so if we look at if we look at the the uh, number on there you can see a six and then you can see a very strange symbol and then a four and then we've got that n shape which is a p well that funny symbol is a j and that is six j four p and it's actually we just go zoom back it's actually um a six au six equivalent seven pin tube um or well, it'll replace a six av six um although they have a bit less gain um i've got about 50 of these and these were really quite cheap i don't think i paid more than about three pound a piece for these um i've used one or two of these on, on amps and they're really good the only thing you have to watch is some of them are a bit microphonic and i think that's much the same with the 6au6 from what i've read so if you like your pentodes because that's actually a pentode preamp tube if you're into your pentodes as i am um they're well well worth having a look around for you can find them on ebay most of the tubes that i buy have uh, i buy from the ukraine and uh, i've recently bought some tubes from the ukraine um and i was kind of a bit dubious because with the situation over there you never know quite if they're going to get delivered but i thought well i'll take a chance um there's plenty of people over there need to get some bread on the table and uh, the guy that I bought them from he's really prompt with the delivery and the tubes are always spot on so that uh, 
you know, if you see um, tubes, um, you know, advertised on eBay from Ukraine, um, don't be afraid, you know, to order them. I have I've had some really good results uh, from getting tubes from the Ukraine. Um, and like I say, just feel like you're just helping them out a bit. So here's another preamp tube. And you can see this is a, a metal cased one. And you may be able to see, it's often difficult to see these on camera. But then th that's a six and it's also got that funny symbol and an eight. And that is a 6J8. And that is a 6SJ7 equivalent. Again, it's a pentode, octal based. And uh, I've used these in one one amp one of those record player amps that i did and uh i built well it was basically it was just a fender champ it was the 5f1 sorry the 5c1 version of the champ which has a 6sj7 and uh, i used one of those and good results great tubes again i bought those from the ukraine and they weren't that expensive i think i bought three previously which would be before the Ukraine war. And then I have bought, since bought some more. And uh, quite like those tubes, really nice. And I think anyone in the States that's, that's you know, into the Pento preamp tubes, they know the 6SJ7. Um, you lot over there know your tubes really well. And uh, probably much better than I do. So that's another one that uh, you can look for if you've ever browsed on eBay. You might get those at the right money, four or five pound a piece. So here's a, another interesting Russian tube, and I've got a couple of these um, on the bench. These are from the Reflector Factory, but you can see the dates on these um, differ greatly. So the one on the left is from 1984, the one on the right is from 1974. These are tatted as a 6v6 or a 6v6 replacement. Uh, pin outs the same, but they're not quite the same. The the dissipation on a 6v6, if you look in the RCA receiving tube manual, is 14 watts. These are only 12. Now, having said that, I do like these tubes. They're very robust. You can get a good, good whack of plate voltage on them. I use these in the amps that I gig with, and uh, they're really good they, they seem to break up just a little bit earlier than a than a 6v6 i really like these now at the time i bought these and i've bought quite a few of these you could buy these for anywhere between three pound fifty and five pound a piece five dollars ish if you live in the states now of course because tubes 6v6 is again expensive um, I've seen these being sold as matched uh, match duets and uh, they're like 35 quid or more. Be careful when you're buying these. They're a great tube. They are a good tube, but they're not quite a 6v6. Someone described these as more like a Neil 84 in a bigger bottle. That's probably a, a reasonable description, I would have thought. But great tubes nonetheless, if you can pick some of these up at the right money... Um, they are good quality tubes. These are um, output tubes. And these, and I've got um, three of these on here. So the 6AG7s, um, Pentoed. And these work really well in guitar amps. Um, I forget what they were designed for now. Somebody will put it in the comments, no doubt, who's got a lot more experience than I have with tubes. So the one on the left is an RCA, and I bought these RCA tubes off a guy on eBay. I think he was selling four of them new and two used. The one on the left is is much older, and you can see uh, you can see the difference of the logo on the, on the actual tube to the box. The one on the right is a, a much newer logo. See if we just hone in, and that's the tube box for that. So you see the other one's much later. Um, and the one in the middle then popped up on eBay as well, and that was a Pinnacle one. That's brand new. The, so, well, new old stock. But I previously had bought some Russian equivalents of these, and I can't find those to hand. I've put them somewhere. 
But excuse that, that's the dog dreaming. That's Shaft, my dog, Shaft his name is. It's my new puppy. He's about 23 weeks old now, golden retriever. You'll probably see him popping up on the odd video. So yeah, back to these tubes. So yeah, I bought, I've got quite a few of these, these tubes. They have an effective load resistance of about 10K, but they are usable as long as you're matching your output transformer up to them. Um, they work really well, really good tubes. Again, I paid about £5 a piece for these. So if in the States, about $5, but I'm sure you've got these over there. You probably get them really cheap over in the States if you're living over there, no doubt. Dissipation on these is 8.7 watts, which is a bit strange, really. You should probably say 9 watts-ish. So you wouldn't be swapping these for 6v6s. If you want to, an amplifier that you want to use for recording or even use at home, they ain't blowing the windows out. They, they'd be a useful tool. I have put one of these, as I say, in, in one of my test amps and this the great good tubes so that's one to look out for 6ag7 so here's another tube that i bought and everybody's thinking that's a chinese tube no you either love them or hate them don't you uh, personally i quite like chinese tubes i've had good results with them some people don't like them at all um, whether it's just the myth or whatever it is i don't know i personally like them and these tubes, SV83, 12 watts dissipation, 1.5 watts dissipation on the screens. Um, you can buy these really cheap. Are they a replacement for an EL84? Probably no, I would say. Maybe in, in low, in again, in, in low power situations, you don't if you're working with a voltage up to 300 volts on the plate. Um, then yeah, you you know, or probably a, a bit less than that. The screens are rated at 200 volts. Whether you could push those, I've used these in 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 lower wattage amps. The, the amp I use for teaching, I've, and I use that. It's on every most days. It's on for hours a week, hours and hours, 20, 30 hours a week, and it's. I've had one of those in in there for about two years, and uh, it's flawless. These cost me about one pound sixty a piece. Now, if um, if you're in the UK, Billington Audio, who are um, a valve tube, a valve distributor, they were selling these, and I think there was two hundred and fifty for two hundred and fifty pounds. So they were a pound a piece plus postage, and the postage was about fifteen quid. Uh, effective load resistance I think is about the same as an EL84 now the only difference with these is that the um, the the grid 3 the sc uh, screen is wired internally to the cathode in an EL84 in these it's not you have to wire it so pin 6 it is in this tube you have to wire pin 6 to pin 3 other than that's the same pin out now also you can see this and people would put it on eBay as well when they're selling them and I've seen it on a few websites. They tart these as an equivalent to the EL83 which was a 9 watt uh, dissipation tube and they're not the same because this is a 12 watt dissipation tube and furthermore the pin is different as well so you can't just go plugging one of these in. So they're not equivalent so don't get fooled by that. It, it, there's not many... Um, not many amplifiers you'll come across with EL83s in. That particular tube is, whether it's myth or whatever, but I have read that Rory Gallagher used those in his Vox AC30 um, to get them to break up quicker. Don't know whether that's true. If anybody's got any info on that, I'd be grateful if they left that in the comments, but that's what I've read. Um, so there we go. If you're looking for a cheap output tube, very cheap output tube that's, that's good quality, SV83, I know some of you don't like Chinese tubes, but hey, it's cheap and it works. Now then, another Russian tube. This is a, an output tube, and uh, it's probably quite hard to see the um, um, to see the, the actual number on there, but if we pop up over there, we can have a better look at that strange N symbol as well, which is actually a P in our language and that tube 
is 6P18P. And we've got the data sheet for this one. Um, it's a 12 watt dissipation tube. And uh, you can see there, and 2.5 on the screen. You can see on the the uh, on the plate 250 volts, and same on the screens. So that's maximum and minimum permissible ratings. But you, as we all know, you can push Russian tubes quite a bit further than that. Um, they're usually quite robust. Now I bought about 50 of these. Um, just check out this cert box they came in. So just check out these stamps. Really nice. So there you can see the, the information on there. Now these are, are classed as an EL82 um, equivalent. Pinout same as an EL84, um, as is an EL82. I wouldn't call them, again, an, an equivalent to that, because from memory an EL82 is only 9 watts dissipation, correct me if I'm wrong. So, so I, you see, this is what I can't get. I, how is a tube an equivalent when it's... It's got more dissipation. 12 watts against 9 watts. Well, that's not an equivalent in my book. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. So that's the 6, 6P18P. What did I pay for these? Um, these were cheap. Less than £2 a piece. So, yeah, really cheap. Again, I bought those two years ago, maybe. So you may find that, you know, now they're a bit more money. But you'll still probably get those you know cheaper than an EL84 you probably get away with using those to be honest in most applications where you, where they use EL84s the thing we're buying tubes from from Ukraine or or anywhere in the eastern bloc is you've really got to make it worth because the postage is quite expensive i think the last ones i bought postage was about 8 to 9 pounds so if you're buying one they they quite it's, it's quite expensive if you're buying a dozen or more, the the, the postage tends to... He's finding a buyer that the postage stays relatively the same the more that you order. Um, and there is some deals. I bought these as a bulk of 50. Um, so you've just, you've just got to, you know, browse eBay and see if you can pick some of them up at the right money. So that's 6P or 18P. Incidentally, when I mentioned those uh, Russian 6AG7s that, that I can't find... Uh, there's the data sheet for them and uh, again see that funny symbol so you'll find those as 6p9 which is the russian equivalent of a 6 ag7 this is a 6p1p um, it's a beam tetrode and it's 12 watts dissipation um, and it's very similar to a 6aq5 except it's in a, obviously it's in a nine pin bottle as opposed to the little seven pin bottle now these are really nice tubes i really like these and i've used them on a few projects um if you like your beam tetrodes these are great tubes to use uh, i know one or two techs um that i watch on youtube um the guitologist um is one guy i watch uh, probably my favorite uh, tech on youtube um great entertainment on his channel and I know he likes the 6AQ5s, um, so this is uh, a good equivalent for that. Obviously, uh, you would, uh, you wouldn't be. It's not a direct replacement because it's a different pin out. Uh, different, sorry, it's a different tube base. This is a nine-pin base as opposed to the seven. Now I bought a hundred of these, and I paid about seventy-five quid for them. So these were a result. Um, they are now being sold on eBay and they are much more expensive. Uh, but you can still get them at reasonable money. If you shop around again on eBay, you can usually get these from, again, from the Ukraine, one or two of the Eastern Bloc countries. So yeah, so that is 6P1P. And the final tube we're going to look at is this 6N3C, um, which is actually 6P3S. Now this is a 6L6 equivalent tube and uh, these are um, these are from what I've read on the internet th these are quite well rated um, and 
of uh, Rob Robinette. If you go on robrobinette.com, um, I read uh, on a forum that he uses these tubes. One or two people have used them and they've had a, a good bit of voltage on them, 440 volts, and they work very well. Um, at the time I bought these, and I have had these about three years, I think, I only bought three of them, saw them as it on online. I think I paid about five a piece for these. Uh, but now, of course, again, these are being sold as 6L6 as equivalents, which they are, really, they probably are. Um, and, of course, they're now a lot more expensive. These are from the Reflector factory. Anybody who knows the tubes will recognise that, uh, recognise that box. So there we go. So that's just a, a look at a few tubes that I've bought over the years and things I've, I've used. And you'll see some of these t tubes used in, in future projects. So there we are. I hope that's helped one or two people out. Um, bit of a short video, this one, and a bit strange. I've not really done anything like this before, so if you think it's a bit crappy, then sorry, it's a first attempt. It's easy when you're filming an amp, but when you're filming valves on your on your desk, it's uh, not so. Thanks for watching. Um, thanks for all those people that subscribed. I really do appreciate it. And you all take care and I'll see you again in a future video. Bye bye for now.